Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. Hi, I'm Jack Berry, and I'm here at the uh, Michigan Golf Show uh, at, in Novi, and we're happy today to have with us Lloyd Siren from Pontiac Country Club, a Notre Damer, we'll excuse him for that, <laughs> and a member of the Michigan Golf Hall of Fame. And uh, Lloyd's got a, a one great tournament there. His dad started the started. Well, you you tell us, uh, Lloyd, about how your dad Frank started everything out there. My my dad was a golf pro, and he loved the game of golf, and he loved promoting the game. Back in the '40s, he lost his mind and bought a golf course. <laughs> Everybody thought he was nuts, and he worked his life running the place and doing a good thing and bringing me up, and all the things he did was for the game of golf. And in his last years, he was sort of upset at the game because it seemed like all the golf course owners were not promoting golf. They were just taking advantage of it and not giving anything back to the golfers. And on his deathbed, he sat down with me and said, Lloyd, you gotta do something for the golfers. And I said, what do you mean? He said, have a tournament for them. And I said, a tournament? So they got a lot of tournaments. They, said, they have no tournaments around here in Southeast Michigan. You have to go up north to Charlevoix or Midland or Grand Rapids to play in a golf tournament. You should have a tournament here for them. And he got my idea, and I decided, okay, if he wants that. When he passed away, one of the last things he said to me was, Lloyd, have you thought, give any thought to that tournament? And I said, well, I've got a couple ideas. He said, I don't care what you do, you're going to do it right. So I'll leave you in charge. <laughs> so we started months after he died in St. Patrick's Day, that's why I got my Notre Dame thing on, because we're, we're actually very Irish. And uh, it's he, 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 he passed away on St. Patrick's Day, and I said, the only way, reason he left here, because he wanted to get up north and have a couple of drinks. <laughs> so we got, started the tournament on the 4th of July weekend. We figured there was nothing, nobody was dumb enough to run a, a golf tournament over a holiday but we said okay we'll try it i called all my friends to start with and we dug up 60 golfers and it we had a great time and everybody had a good thing and we had a we, get, we gave a lot of money back to the golfers in those days we had a capacity of i think a hundred dollars for, right. for win right and then so 190 80 70 and when we got done we we funded a lot of money, and the golfers liked it. And Jack was at the Detroit Free Press, right? Yes. And he, he picked up on it and wrote a big article about this wonderful tournament out in Pontiac at Pontiac Country Club. And the next year, we had 150 golfers. <laughs> Power of the press. <laughs> Power of the press. And all of a sudden, we, were, we had too many golfers you can't put more than 144 on a golf course at a time so we had to go to qualifying and we had one year we had 300 people qualify for Fantastic. The, the, the tournament and so then we had the tournament and it's grown and this is believe it or not the 50th year and last year it was sort of a climax Back in the old days, I shot 64, and I was one of the course golf course record holders. Well, Lloyd, Lloyd uh, let's say also say that you won the Michigan Amateur Championship. You're a, you are a pretty fair golfer. Yes, my oh yeah, that, you are a pretty fair golfer. Yes, my dad was a good teacher, <laughs> <laughs> and he had a lot of faith in me. And actually, he did. He did teach me how to play, and I lived on the golf course for actually 
75 years I've lived on a golf course. He built a house on the 18th green. That's where I grew up in. And when I got married, he gave me a lot in the back corner. And I've lived there with my wife, wonderful wife, for 57 years. Well, well the sirens, have the, uh, the siren tournament, Always put on a great feed for the for the competitors, and that was all the all the ladies, your mom, and uh, everybody had uh, everybody a, a a terrific uh, terrific table was uh, set by the sirens out there on what is it uh, Elizabeth Lake Road, right? Yeah, yeah. West of Pontiac. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. West West of Pontiac. Yeah. Used to used to be there the Summit Mall, but. Uh, that, that gone died too, but the, we're still there. And the golf course is a good test of golf. And we had a kid I started to tell about the last year um, from the Oakland University golf team, which shot the new course record 62. Wow. And he almost had 61. He left it hanging on the lip on the 18th hole. And par is what? 72. 72. Right. So. The players are great. We never heard of this Jack Coon, Keen, however you pronounce it, K N E E N. And uh, but he proved that he could play golf. And he was a college student, and most of these kids are college students now, and they're great players. Oh, yes, but uh, we won't let any high school kids collect any money. Okay, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> we we'll keep. Keep them eligible for high school. Right. You get a lot of <laughs> yes, uh, Keep them eligible. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, what else is happening these days out at uh, Pontiac CC? Well, we're still in business. <laughs> Good. Golf has been going through a little struggle the last few years, uh, and I think it's going to pick up again. It goes up and down like, like the stock market. And uh, we still are full of capacity. We have 40 golf leagues. Wow. And the competition, is, the thing we don't like is that the, the, there's 19 county public city owned golf courses in Oakland County yeah. who cut their taxes, cut their fees and don't pay any taxes. Yeah. And they stick it to us support them we, we don't like the unfair competition and uh, a lot of golf courses are, are folding in the Detroit area like it happened in the city of Detroit. So we've been talking with uh, Lloyd Siren whose family uh, started the uh, Siren turn Memorial Tournament and uh, his dad uh, told uh, Lloyd to come on start a golf golf tournament and Lloyd did and I've had the 50th anniversary and it's one of the the great uh, public course uh, championships in the state. So thank you, Lloyd Siren. Good job at Pontiac Country.